we've had a very exciting afternoon, exciting week, and we're going to continue that here today. We are excited to celebrate so many of the accomplishments of our seniors and to send them off as they prepare to leave St. Cecilia. We know they're going to be doing so well in their next locations, but we want to take some time to celebrate them today and to share some of their next steps with you. However, before we get to our seniors, we have an additional send-off to recognize. Amadine has been with us this semester at St. Cecilia. Coming from France, she has immersed herself into the St. Cecilia academic, athletic, and social life. We will be saying goodbye to Amadine as she journeys back to France soon. However, at first, I would like to welcome her up to the stage to say a few words. Goes to 
these seniors throughout the year to help them find the college they have chosen and the path to get there. So much work has been done throughout the year, but also four years of hard work from both teachers and students, which have all contributed to the college decisions they have made. First, a little information about their class. The class of 2024 is composed of an extremely talented and successful group of young women. During your college process, you worked very hard to submit an average of eight college applications per student. You were accepted to 134 different colleges in almost every state, including Alaska and Washington, D.C. 18 of these colleges listed in the top 50 colleges and universities in the U.S. News and World Report, with another 14 in the top 100. In the end, you had to make that difficult decision, and soon you will now be headed off to 37 lucky colleges and universities in 21 states. 25 of you will stay here in Tennessee, while others will venture as far away as Colorado and California to the west, Connecticut and New York in the north, and Alabama and Texas in the south. 38 of you will be attending public universities and 28 attending private universities. Four will attend liberal arts colleges and another seven will attend Catholic colleges. You will pursue majors and minors in fields as diverse as musical theater, nursing, biochemistry, English, kinesiology, and entrepreneurship. The most popular prospective major for the class of 2024 is a kinesiology exercise science major. Engineering will claim five of you. Business marketing communication will take eight of you. We have two intending on pursuing elementary education and another two prospective nursing majors. Chemistry will also claim four of you. You will be moving from four years of being a scarab to all sorts of different things. A charger, a hilltopper, or a rebel. Of course, we'll have vols, as well as mocks, skyhawks, and blue raiders. Some of you will become musketeers, eagles, bruins, cardinals, bison, or seven-horned frogs. <laughs> On a more serious note, as far as merit scholarships for the class of 2024, you have received almost $11 million in merit and awards offered, some of which is still coming in. The most impressive part of this is that you've received scholarships for a wide range of talents, including academic merit, leadership, athletics, service, and the arts. This is a tremendous testament to your many gifts and abilities, and perhaps even more important, to your diligence, persistence, and hard work. We are proud of you and we congratulate you on all your accomplishments over the past four years. We wish you the best of luck as you embark on a whole new chapter of your life. We are going to miss you, class of 2024. And now for our annual roundup. As your name is called, please step into the front so we can acknowledge you. This year, seven of you have decided to stay in Music City. Simone Della Merced and Katie Wooder will be at Belmont University. Gabrielle <laughs> Tiburcio will study at Vanderbilt University. <laughs> Nori 
Fuller, Stella Graziano, Mallory Kaczynski, Catherine McMillan, Grayson Mondelli, Sydney O'Connell, and Sophie Stakewitz. <laughs> Heading west from Nashville, we will find Emily Cox attending UT Martin. <laughs>
University. <laughs> and Amelia Traquinio will travel to Rhode Island to call Brown University home. <laughs> Moving down the East Coast, in Washington, D.C., Elizabeth Adler will attend Georgetown University. <laughs> University of <laughs> Zoe Edmondson will attend Hampton University in Virginia. <laughs> North Carolina will claim Olivia Jones at Wake Forest University. for just a minute. 